What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play on Original Craft. In the last episode, we started on an adventure to try and hunt down a new location for my new build. And that was a loud sounding zombie. Um, in this episode, I'm gonna not do that. I'm um, by myself today, by the way. I, it's actually 2 a.m. on a uh, Monday morning, so. <laughs> Uh, I didn't expect anyone to be awake. Um, first off, I gotta apologize. These episodes aren't being uploaded when they should be. Uh, I went to render the episode you guys saw yesterday, um, two nights ago at the time of, or at the time you guys are seeing this. And uh, wake. What I what I actually I should start off with. What I will normally do is I will um, start to render a video and then I will go to bed. And in the morning, the video will be. Uh, rendered out and the reason why I do that is because videos take about well depending on the video uh, things I upload in 1080p like oops, like Minecraft um, take about around two hours to render uh, well hour and a half to two hours all things depending on how big the file is and such but um cow right I was like what the heck is that noise <laughs> is that a wildebeest no but uh so yeah I, I started to render it and then in the morning I woke up and it said some about fraps having an unrecognized codec. Uh, essentially, it didn't render out at all. It was at like zero seconds. I'm like, oh great, so this probably happened immediately, and I just didn't notice it. So that's why episodes. And I would have uploaded it Monday, but uh, on days I upload um, a video or a new series, I tend to try and make it so that's the only video that day, so it gets you know the maximum exposure possible. Um, yeah, actually. Actually, it might not be true. I'm, I, I think I might. I'm, I'm wrong in that. I'm actually <laughs> uploading yesterday's video on Monday after all. Sorry, I, I forgot I was gonna do that. I, I wasn't initially gonna do it, but then I decided to do it. But I'm just gonna do it at um, noon. When I, well, I guess that's the one I normally upload on Original Craft, anyways. But I mean, I'm gonna be uploading Pitfall Lost Expedition at 4:30 p.m., which is. I think far enough away that if people are going to watch this, they would see it. If not, it's going to skip over it and Pitfall will pop up. Is there two? I'm looking for a single sheep. I need a sheep, okay? How much string do I have? Not enough. It's never enough, is it? I need to make a bed. <laughs> That's the, the entire point of my existence right now. I need to make a bed, and then we're going to do a caving episode. It's going to be fantastic. Um, hopefully, we will get some supplies. Supplies, because that would be pretty fantastic. Um, I'm always worried about like wanting things like food or wood when underground, but I have two stacks of steak. Well, one and a half now, a little over one and a half, I suppose. But uh, I'm just running in circles now. I don't know. I can't find a sheep. Um, I'm gonna disappear for a second until I find a sheep. Be right back until I find a sheep. Finally, geez, that took so long. I'm not that far away from uh, from where I where the cave was that I was gonna go into, but um, still, that took forever, man. I hate how finding one mob that you always want to find is freaking impossible. Um, is this a cave? Oh boy! Exactly why I wanted to make a bed. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is gonna be a good cave or not, though. If it isn't, I'm not gonna waste my time, you know. No, I ain't got that flow, yo. Don't know what any of that means. Um, sometimes I like to pretend I'm a gangster. Just... Alright, it dead ends. Uh, should I bother taking these torches back? Sure. So, phone update. Um, if you guys watched the last episode, I told you about the horrible circumstances. That is my life, where <laughs> I... I uh, broke my phone, had to pay for my thousand dollar bill in my car, well, a part piece of it anyway. Is it becoming night? I think it is. That's actually good news. Um, my laptop shut up. By the way, my laptop's working again. Uh, I just went to turn on the other day and it turned on. Um, and yeah, so I was trying to get my, my uh, I backed up my phone, my iPhone 5C. Like a few days before it broke, which is fan like unbelievably fantastic because it was the first time I backed up this phone in almost two years. Yeah, I don't know how that 
to happen, but it turned out the backup didn't work. Which is weird, because I have the backup, but, uh, like, when I go into the iPhone, um, oh man, I'm getting lost, aren't I? I don't know how to get back to the place I have been at. Oh, flowers, that's a good sign. Ramona Flowers. When I go into, like, the app data and open up my iPhone data and all that, I see that it's backed up. But the thing is, when I go to back up, all my backups are from, like, 2013, which is the stupidest thing, the most obnoxious thing. I'm so mad about that. Every time I go to back up my phone, or even my iPod, that happens. I don't know why. <sighs> Can you tell I'm kind of not happy with that? God, I'm just so sick of Apple's bullshit they've been jerking me around with. I think this is not where I wanted to be. Hmm. It's gotta be around here somewhere, though. What is this? Oh, someone's been here before. Cool. Well, maybe. <laughs> what is that? Someone lives... Oh, you know what? This is Kenny's base. I can't show that off. She's keeping it a secret. So, if you're interested in that, I don't know if she's posted a video on it yet. Oh, boy. This is not good. This is very not good. Well, they helped me. Ooh. Ooh, good lord. Holy crap. Um, I can't run anymore. <laughs> Thankfully, getting hit by mobs doesn't interrupt your eating in this game. <laughs> okay, that moon's just rising. I was like, was that moon setting already? No. Don't be redonkulous. Well. I was going to, uh... Good lord. I was gonna go to where I was considering making my base and cave there, but this works too, I guess. I mean, I am deciding not to make that my base, because yeah, it's a cool area, but it doesn't accomplish what I'm trying to do, so I'm gonna skip over it and move on. Unfortunately. Let's, um... Let's make a bed. And hopefully not get blown up in the process, because that would be fun, wouldn't it? No creeps. Alright. I need more wood. Oops, that is not wood. It's cool though. It is pretty cool that you see that coal. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know what's going on with my phone. Um, I've just kind of resorted to just being like, whatever. I'll just start over again. Don't care anymore. Because it is pretty annoying. It's like, my contacts is the most probably annoying thing. And my notes I have on there. My photos, I actually just uploaded. Well, I uploaded the same day I backed up my phone. Uh, mostly to make room. It's my iPhone 5C, as I said before, that um, it's been crashing a lot. And I can't type on it anymore. Or I couldn't type on it anymore. But I went to try and back it up again. And, um... It, uh, the worst thing happened. It, it says I need to put in my passcode on my phone to upload, which is probably the stupidest thing if you have a broken phone display, because why can you not just type in your passcode on your computer? Why is that not an option? Let's uh, move that, actually. Come on, sleep. Yeah! Sleep the night away. I don't know. Can mobs attack you when you're in bed? Like, I know you obviously can't go in a bed when a mob's nearby, but what about, like, if you're in the bed and, like, the mob comes at you, bro? Alright, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna totally not be on fire by the time we get here. Oh, never mind. Woo! Don't like the face. Don't like your face. <laughs> Ooh. Getting a bit of leg, apparently. Yay, he's dead. Alright, let's head into the dips. I didn't destroy my bed, did I? Good. <laughs> I was going to say, the whole point of it was so it wouldn't be destroyed. You know, also just in case, there we go. I don't know if this is even a good cave or not, but I guess we're about to find out. And, oh, fantastic cave. Wow. Wow. Probably should have taken a look in here before setting up camp there. Oopsie daisies. Uh, okay, the flower field's this way, so let's... Probably should have taken that workbench, to be honest, but whatever. I don't really care. It's only four pieces of wood, you know. Is this it? Ah, oh, I think this is it. No, it's not, but... That's cool. I don't know what that really is. Actually, that might not be Kenny's base, but... The event it is, I'm not going to go over there. I have been over there before, but she distinct... Or she... Um, personally told me not to show people, so I'm not going to. Gosh, what the... Come on, man. Don't know why I always have issues finding caves. I mean, this 
game is based around caving, you'd think <laughs> caves would be a bit more common. Such as random generation, I guess. Alright, I know we can't see that from where I was, so let's keep going this away. And pray. Pray! I wonder who put these blocks here. I highly doubt it was Kenny. I, I keep assuming it is Kenny's base. I think it is, but could be wrong. Because that those pillars weren't there when I was here last time, but, you know, things change sometimes. <laughs> wow, look at that. That's cool. A mushroom on a rooftop where it spawned at the top of that hill. Unless someone put that there, which is entirely possible. I am not funny in cave, you guys. So frustrating. This always happens to me when I try to go caving. I can't find a freaking cave. Am I way over here? I found like a hundred caves. <sighs> ah, this looks promising. It is promising indeed. So, not even entirely sure what I'm trying to look for here. Preferably like diamonds, I guess. Does it just end? Of course it does. But I'll gladly take iron. I'll take iron. I guess even coal would be great, but I need to... Uh, I definitely need to like get a nice fortune pick. Wow, why am I lagging? This is a this is a terrible time to lag <laughs> when you're going caving, when you're breaking the most blocks. And then again, the only other thing I really do is build, so that'd be just placing blocks, which really has the same lag. That just goes up. I don't want to go up. I want to go up. I don't. Wanna, I mean, I want to go down, but sometimes you gotta go up to go down. You know what I'm saying? So, an update on my. Um, Super Mario 3D Land, or World, sorry, see I still mix them up. <laughs> uh, an update on that series. Pfft, not going so well. Um, by now, maybe? Well, actually, by the time you guys seen this episode, I don't think the second last episode will be up. But, uh, I'm trying to, I've been trying to record the finale for the past two days. I've recorded, like, seven hours of footage. Let me tell you, Champions Road is not a freaking joke. It is called Champions Road for a reason. You need to be a champion to beat it. <laughs> and me, um, unfortunately not a champion. Okay, that just leads back around to where we just were. Good to know. So, um, my voice actually hurts quite a bit from screaming at the game for the past two days. Actually, I recorded it. Um, this is just going to be nothing, isn't it? For fuck's sakes. I do hear lava, which is a great sign. Let's, uh... Be safe here. <sighs> Woo! Alright, that should be a safe fall. I don't have any water. That's stupid of me. Great, there's nothing down here. Of course there isn't. God damn it. <sighs> I don't have any blocks to pill it out either. This, mm, just, just, nah, I'm just so frustrated, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is. Um, last episode, I talked about Pitfall Lost Expedition and how I couldn't figure out what to use for sidebars and all that junk. Well, I regret to inform you guys that Let's Play is cancelled. <gasps> Just kidding! Actually, like it's it's definitely up by now, so I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> uh, it's funny because I'm stupid. So, posted. Um, Pitfall Lost Expedition. Yeah, I'm not exactly the happiest in the world with how it's turning out. What was I gonna make? Oh yeah, a bucket. I.e. the... Um, especially like the idols. I think the idols look really stupid. But it was... it's, It was the only way I could think to make it work. Because unfortunately I don't have the software to hack into the game and take out the images of the files themselves. Like I tip... like... well... that other people typically do for games like Pit... or Pitfall. Like Zelda games that I use on my like Ocarina of Time let's play and all that you know what I'll just dig down fuck it <laughs> you tell him I'm not a happy camper right now probably I'm gonna dig down Etho style Etho but um so I think even like the explore the image I'm using for explorers that isn't very good either in the event or in the sake that it's actually just a picture of St. Clair I think it's a little too, well, not low definition, but um, since it's smaller and not really obvious that it's St. Clair, I decided to use it, and it was my only option of a human that wasn't, like, you know, obviously, you know, like, bitten binder or one of, like, the main crew members of the game, so, yeah, I decided to just go with St. Clair. He looks like an explorer, I guess, <laughs> right? Maybe. 
I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I'm really excited about that Let's Play. Oh, that scared me. Um, it's night again. That would be highly unfortunate if a creeper just wandered in here. And guess what? I need to make another freaking workbench. You know what? Let's use this. It's dangerous to go alone. Eat this. I just got a really cold feeling on my back of my neck. Like, there's a ghost hand touching me. Speaking of which, I saw a video where, um, I need something. I saw a video where, uh, there's these, there, there's hotel security, so there's like, you know, security cameras and all that. And, ooh, that could have been dangerous. Good lord. Um, I saw a video of hotel security of this guy going upstairs, and there was audible screaming in the background. And plot twist, no one had signed into that hotel. And so, the, the security guard decided, well, I'm going to go in because there's screaming and there could be someone dying in there. So he goes in, screaming stops. You see a, like, a ghost-like figure move out of the room. Oh, here, lava, that's good. That's good. <laughs> and, um... He, he comes out of the room, kind of like moving back, in, or move, or not running, I guess, but he definitely seemed, you know, phased by whatever was in there. Can I drop down here? I can. Gotta be careful here. What level am I at? Seven. I should get blocks. On, okay, I do have blocks on my bar. And I also have water, so that's great. That's great! It's too great! I just need a, I need a death hole <laughs> to put all my death into. Q, 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 Q. Uh, well, we'll get a farm going eventually. We'll keep the gunpowder for now. There's so many stone, so many types of stone now, which is really unfortunate <laughs> for mining purposes since it clogs up your inventory even more. Um, yeah, let's put the cobble. Let's use that as my block. Oh, there we go. Let's use the, these ones. Yeah. I don't need the wool. Don't need the diorite. Don't need the gravel. That's good. Um. Yeah, anyway, so the security guard, it turns out, uh, the shower was on, and he said the carpets were all ripped up, and, uh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, all the furniture was turned upside down. So typical ghost stuff, and it's like you'd think, well, that sounds really fake and stupid. And, I mean, uh-oh, 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 oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. That stop? What just happened? Did I get, that, that is really good luck. Whoo, that was a little bit scary. <laughs> I thought for sure I was dead. Um, okay, so. Let's go, well, that's a bad spot for a torch. No, ain't it. Alright, let's go up here. Let's mine. There we go. That's what I'm talking. Are you, are you serious? How, how unlucky do you have to be to come across two lava lakes in a row where there's no cave connected to it? Just my luck. That's the name of this episode. Just my luck. Yes, I have resorted to just digging in a well, somewhat straight line. I don't feel like digging into the gravel to be honest. So screw that. Um. But yeah. So I mean, you'd think something like that would be really fake, and uh, I am very skeptical of like ghost feels most of the time, <laughs> depending on what it looks like. And yeah, I hear the zombie. Let's try and find him. I was getting closer. But uh, just the way like the video was constructed, it did look very realistic, and it was very reminiscent of. I just went and saw Insidious Three. That's pretty good. All right, just want to make sure there's no creepers around. Creepers gonna creep and such. Thank you, zombie. Show me the way. Show me the way to the light. Finally, a cave that's probably gonna end in five seconds. <laughs> Uh, or I'm gonna immediately die to a creeper. One of those two things I'm sure is gonna happen. Yay, positivity! Yeah, uh, Insidious, well, it didn't have to do with a hotel. It had to do with uh, an apartment building, but um, same thing, like, you know, a bunch of rooms melded together where people sleep in. <laughs> but, um, 
so it was, you know, that was one of the first ghost videos in a long time that I've watched that actually gave me legitimate shivers. Uh, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description down below. But, um, yeah, that was definitely when I watched that. Since, you know, my bedroom's in the basement, um, I may be a little bit worried. <laughs> I, I am definitely one of those ones that, if I get creeped out enough by a video, I will not sleep as soundly as I would if I didn't see that video. Well, typically it wears off. Or I'm just kind of like, whatever, I don't care anymore, I'm tired, I'm going to sleep now. I no longer care about the ghosts that are probably going to kill me. And the thing is, in my house, I don't know if it's the house settling, I guess, well, if, you know, my house isn't haunted by spoopy ghosts, it's got to be that the house is just settling. But I'll always hear, like, multiple times in a day, two stomps in a row, and I've verified I'm not going crazy, and um, I've asked my girlfriend to listen for it as well, and I'll always go, did you hear that? And she'll be like, yes, I totally heard that. Or a lot of the time, no, I didn't hear that at all. But my ear is kind of um, trained to listen for it now, I guess. Since, you know, I'm paying attention to it now. <laughs> since I know it, you know, spoopy ghosts and all that. But it always sounds like, uh, to me, it always, uh, I always, like, picture in my mind, it sounds like someone's getting out of bed and putting their two feet on the floor to, like, go to the bathroom or something. Like, so just picture being in a basement and, like, you know, um, your family member upstairs stands up to go to the bathroom. You, like, sometimes people put their feet down at the same time, which would make one stomp, but it sounds like bang, bang. So, it's two, two steps, and that's it. That's all I ever hear. Uh, you know, it's 2.30 now, and I feel like telling ghost stories at this time is probably a really bad idea, but let's continue doing it anyways. Another kind of ghostly experience I had few weeks ago um, was in my room I was just going to sleep and I saw this orange dot a really like bright orb um, floats and f uh, about three feet in front of my bed and about let's say five feet in the air and it did kind of like a little arc maybe I'll even draw on screen what it did or put like a little transparent image over top just show like the pattern it went and um, I was tired I was sleepy so Yes, I've considered that, you know, maybe I was just, it was just, you know, me being tired and nothing really was there. But, um, ooh, I don't like how you're going, dude. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, at least took care of the skeleton problem. Thank goodness I am, like, getting used to blocking. And I almost censored myself from saying thank God. I'm not entirely sure why, to be honest. Oh, I think the spooky spider's coming after me now. No, he's not. But, uh... Jeez, man. I mean, I guess that's one way to take care of cars. Um, I should make more torches. Um, another, actually, one of the most significant ghost experiences I've had is one of the children's. I believe this would have been my first house, actually. So this would have been 12 and younger. Um, I was going to bed. I wasn't bad. I probably told this story on an episode before, but I don't remember, so whatever. Uh, I was going to bed. I was laying in bed, trying to fall asleep, when all of a sudden I heard my mom's voice go, Chris, really loudly. And thinking my mom was there, I just said, what? Like, with a kind of groggy voice, and didn't get out of bed. Or didn't open my eyes, I should say. And no response. Okay, weird. Open my eyes. No one's there. Which, I completely, like, accept the fact that that was probably just me being overtired, or tired, more tired than I felt, because it was one of those nights where I couldn't sleep. And I feel like those nights, restless nights, you do get some rest, you do sleep, but you just don't realize you are getting rest, and I guess the dream world and the real world kind of intertwine a bit, and, I mean, so I do accept that all these things, I've, well my two personal experiences I've just talked told you guys about are more than likely just um you know me in between dream states and uh, reality but at the same time it doesn't make him any less creepy to me <laughs> well maybe it does just knowing like the kind of science behind it I guess but it's still you know even like telling all three of these stories 
even uh, in Vice 3, I mean, the third one being the hotel one with the, the spoopy ghosts. We are not that far down anymore, are we? We're at 43. That is way too high up. I want to be below 30. Like, I, I certainly accept that probably none of these are real and just all in my mind and all that. But yeah, it, it still genuinely creeps me out to think about even to this day. Like I said, getting shivers even right now, still talking about spoopy ghosts at 2.30 in the morning. Probably against my better judgment. Because <laughs> oftentimes, even just talking about stuff like this kind of, you know, brings back the memories of my childhood. Flower? Didn't see that coming. Oh my, that, okay, that scared me a bit. <laughs> Not in a spoopy ghost way, but in a flushy peanut attacking my face. I'm in a sword, A. Eh? Ooh, there's a skeleton over there. There he is. Being a butthead. Can you guys see him? I think there's gonna be a diamond in there. Come on. With my... Have I ever shown you guys this bow? This unbreaking two, power two, punch one bow. Pretty sure I already got this from a skeleton drop. Or maybe someone just put it in my chest or something. But I'm pretty dang sure it was a skeleton drop. Oops. Oh no, another skeleton. Meh. Meh. Um... I feel like... Uh, do I have any more ghost stories? I'm pretty sure I told a bullshit story to my parents when I was really young. Probably around the 12 area again. Uh, this was after I moved, though, to Grandview, which was my second house, uh, four hours away from my first one. Um, I remember that basement was really kind of crazy because it was really one long hallway that twisted and turned around a bunch. That noise actually creeped me out. <laughs> um, I, I remember telling my parents I saw... The the ghost of our dead dog. Okay, oh, that, that actually scared me too. Okay, I should probably stop talking about this because I just saw a white flash to my left. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? <sighs> Something about being scared is kind of fun though, right? Like it gives like, I got re I got a cold sweat going now. Oh boy, I should call it an episode and turn on some lights. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm going to do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe already. Um, yeah, if, if you do, like, you know, if you like watching my videos, and the best way for you to support me. Oh no, it's a zombie testificate. The best way to support me is definitely by leaving a like and subscribing. <laughs> I would say, sometimes I catch myself saying subscribing as subscribing. Don't know why that's a thing, but it's subscribing. You scum. So, hopefully I don't immediately die after I turn off the record. Oh my!